Hey there, everybody. Good morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where uh, you get your daily dose for me almost. I'm, I'm working on changing our theme, the way I, I say our theme. So instead of uh, having a happy, healthy, balanced life while you build a business, we're going to talk about how to create the life you crave. Stop letting life happen to you. Create the life you crave. That's going to be our topic, at least for the next little while. So thank you for joining me. Either way, it's pretty awesome. Look, I forgot to turn the light on this morning. Yeah, that's a little bit better. How are y'all doing this morning? It is Friday. That means it's time for Free Coaching Friday. I've got a topic for us. But before we get into that, let me say I'm happy that you're here. If you would do me the honor and privilege of uh, liking this video, and leaving me a comment, let me know that you're here. That would be awesome. And if you happen to be listening on one of the podcast catchers, that's fantastic too. Be sure and like that podcast and head over here to Facebook and uh, join us for the conversation here every once in a while. When you have a chance, go to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That gets you to the right place on Facebook. You can watch this and all the back episodes of the show as they are immortalized there on Facebook in perpetuity. All right. So, um, this morning, our topic this morning, uh, is going to be interesting. We all have things that we need to handle day to day. I mean, that's, that's kind of how things work. Even when I'm encouraging you in different ways to plan and schedule, you start with the big goal, the big, hairy, audacious goal, you break that down to milestones, then quarters, then weeks, then days, then tasks for that day. So we've got those things that we have to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of the things I have to do is get another sip of coffee. But here's the problem that we run into. Too often we let those short-term tasks and short-term challenges become our long-term reality. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. And, and this, this all really stems from, um, you know, one of the, the chapters that I teach. Your short-term thinking and short-term actions create your long-term results. Right? If you, if you do, if you think about your, your challenges from a short-term perspective and you're constantly reacting like that, right? Then, you, you get whiplash. You get whipped from one side to the other, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, somebody new's calling. Oh, somebody new sent an email. Oh, there's this new product opportunity. Oh, there's this. What about the long term? Instead of letting the short term challenges and short term demands create your long term result, how about starting with the long term result and then choosing which of those short term challenges to address? Hmm, that might work better. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. Actually, I do know. That will work better. And that's the reason that I always encourage you to, to know, to really get your arms wrapped around what that long-term outcome is that you're trying to create. Without that knowledge, without knowing the long-term result that you want, then you are just at the mercy of the cumulative effect of whatever happens. And that's kind of the whole point of our theme for this year right, is stop letting life happen to you. That's what happens when you all you do is respond to the, the short-term daily demands. You're letting life happen to you. Stop doing that and begin creating the life you crave. It's one of the great things about doing the show live. You, you get all the little coughs and hacks and everything for free, but no additional cost. If we're whipped whipped around by the daily demands, then we never have a chance to work on that long-term theme. Start with the long-term theme, then use that as a filter for everything that you do. If you'll do it that way, then a lot of those daily, you know, whipsaw, whiplash demands kind of just go away. They become unimportant because they are not related to the long-term result. Now, I might... And I do hear this quite often. Well, yeah, but circumstances in my market change frequently. Okay. 
then if the circumstances in your market change so significantly that it changes your long-term result, then your long-term result's not long-term enough. Oh, sorry. Did I, I get your toes on that one? So if, if short-term changes in your marketplace can change your long-term goal, the long-term outcome you're trying to create, then your long-term outcome is not looking far enough down the road. If you need help with that, I'll be happy to help you with that. Shoot me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. We'll talk about that on an upcoming installment of uh, either this show or something else that we do. Because we do a lot. We do the coffee shop show on Wednesday, this show every day at 7 o'clock central time, and uh, then the radio show on Tuesdays at 8. All of those things here for you to help you create the life that you crave. I hope this week has been helpful for you. If it has, I would love for you to share this video, promote this to your network. Let everybody know the work, the great stuff we're doing here. If you think it's great, if you don't, then don't. I'm okay either way. It's Friday. That means tomorrow's Saturday and the day after that Sunday. That's the weekend for a lot of you. That's just two more days in the week. For me, it's a time to unplug uh, from this and be sure that I pay special attention to the important relationships in my life. That's what I do over the weekend. It gets me recharged and uh, puts my feet back on the ground for Monday. So I'll be back here Monday with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you guys have a fantastic weekend. I will talk to you again Monday. Take care.